there we go we'll just keep working in this these roots here um, we want to build the, this in almost as if it's this twisted kind of thing I do want these to remain kind of claw like um, maybe a bit sharp on the edge so we might come back and sharpen those up and start to work in more of these vines as we go let me get the bottom going here as well get some things combined get some of these roots kind of built up over top of each other I don't want to go too heavy on these these big structures here because we'll use the vine vector displacement sculpt tool there custom tool we built earlier to get some of the smaller details in but we'll start to join these guys together and we'll kind of overlap these guys so they kind of crawl over top of each other there and we'll bring this right down around underneath this here as if it's kind of anchoring in some root here and then this root here I want to bring it right up around that edge and and just kind of wrap this one over top of it again so again at this point here not too worried about the overall detail I'm just working in form and structure right now these kind of sharpened root um, these crude kind of fingers and I'm using the inverse there again of the hitting the control key with that wax brush just kind of define some of these up a little bit more then we can start to branch some of these roots off as if they're connected over here blend that in a bit with the shift to hit smooth work that in a bit there and now we've we have these roots kind of happening here on the wrist let's blend this in and add a little bit more as if this is coming from somewhere right now it's just kind of wrapped around the wrist um, a lot of these roots are kind of buried underneath rocks and stones um, different boulders on here so we'll tie this in together as we go um, what we're going to do is a lot of these roots are going to be intertwined between these rocks and boulders so we'll start to work some of these in as if they're coming out of there. Um, the idea is that all of these roots again are coming from the main um, tree structure that's kind of crawling through him. So we'll start to attach it to some of these other roots that I've added here earlier. I'm going to bring the build up back down just to get something a little more flat, a little more broad in there. build out some of these things here. I'll, I'll get the uh, VDM tool in here in a little bit, the vector displacement vine tool. Crawl some of these over top and join them in. So you can see the wax brush I'm able to quickly kind of merge these or blend these uh, root like structure things here a bit uh, together, get some overlapping happening here. can just keep going with this here um, I think we'll leave the rest here for the the vector displacement um, tool in here and let's just join some of these kind of build this up a little bit around here a little bit of a pile of roots kind of around that wrist area in there kind of leaving this area open around the elbow as well so that we could get um, if we wanted to deform this guy you know if we wanted to rig him up we could work with some different maps in here for deformation on him okay and then I'm gonna to switch to my we'll put that as um, I'm just gonna call them boulder roots for now and I'll grab another layer here 
Um, we're going to go with our Vine uh, vector displacement tool that we've already previously set up, so we know we're ready to go with that. Um, and we can start to work in some of these little fine, finite little kind of structures in here. Let's turn up the strength. What strength are we working on there? We're working at 100. We'll use the build up at 50. That's fine. We'll just keep these guys kind of wrapping around. I mean, get these kind of vein like structures happening through here with this tool. And then another nice thing is that we can use this to kind of build a bit of a coiled kind of effect over top of these roots as we go. And that works out really nicely when you get down to the fingers as well. Maybe some of these guys kind of poke out from within and really define the kind of claw, edge-like claws on there. And define a bit of the edge on this guy here. So we're just working with this the simple tube tool that's giving me this nice kind of cut in here. And we'll bunch some of these up, give this kind of tendril like effect here, and, and overlap some of them here. Get them crawling over top of each other. Almost kind of spider like um, the way they're kind of overlapping. come out and take a look at what we're getting here. Continue these guys around. And all I'm doing with these here, I'm, I'm taking a look at what I'm doing here. I just want to keep them kind of floating in a... Sure, it's a bit of a random structure, but I want them to end either on top or, or in or continuing and flowing with another structure so they're not just kind of sitting out in, in uh, space there. Another thing I've done on a couple of these here is I've actually put some pits down in there and kind of had the the little rooty structure you know if I follow this one right off the edge there as if it's falling down into a bit of a pit on the boulder there this should be fine we'll maybe bring it down a little bit smaller we put these finite ones here get them kind of some unique shapes happening there and then we can maybe overlap these, really detail up this area here a bit. Join that in. I think that's fine for now. Um, we can definitely take this one further. I probably will. Um, but in the interest of time, we'll We'll leave it at that. Um, the interesting thing about this this brush here is it's really bringing in these nice finite details. You can see I've used this to crawl across a bunch of the rocks and the boulders. I've built in lots of little overlapping structures, nice finite kind of things here. This side here, his hand is kind of comprised of these loose rock kind of structures in there. Um, I use this for the little tendrils coming across his thigh there, and I built this big rooty structure coming across his side connected to his back, um, kind of as a main structure to carry that tree through. 